all right once you have created your ec2 instance it will show you information something like that the another thing on which you need to pay attention that this is available in ohio all right so there are a lot of other places where this is available you need to also remember this it is available in us east too all right after that you have here some helpful link like uh, how to connect to your windows instance you can click on this one and then you can read more about this how you can get connected with your windows instance all right perfect now what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna click on uh, let me show you yeah so i'm gonna click on here a uh, view instance and then i'm also gonna cut it here and this view uh, view instance uh, lead us to here at a new page and there we have uh, information about our uh, machine and uh, this is an instance id and this says that it is available in us east 2c zone and this is says uh, this is saying that this machine is currently running and uh, status is being initialized so at the first time it might take a little time to get the complete status and then it says that this is a public ip and if you copy this public ip and if you paste it here then uh, what will you get here you will get nothing here because you cannot access it from a public ip yet later i'll show you how you can get access from a remote location to your machine all right after this once it is done then what i'm gonna do here um, then other information like the key name if you remember dot pem file which i had shown you at the start of uh, uh, at this uh, in the previous lesson in fact um, when i was creating this ec2 instance all right so these are the information which uh, we have currently now you need to click on connect and this connect says that a standalone rdp client and there is session manager so this is not in, uh, this is not installed yet so we are going to uh, click on a standard rdp client this rdp client what it is saying that you can get connect with this one from this uh, from this public dns username and all these things all right so what i'm going to do here i'm going to click on remote desktop file so once you click on this one it will automatically open your uh, remote desktop and then finally it asks about your computer your computer password all right so i'm going to just keep my computer password here then it will try to okay let me see it is just saying that here okay let me see okay i think these credentials are this one perhaps let me see this password okay key pair path that is actually this pm file i'm gonna get this one all right so this is a password for this one and if we decrypt then we will get actually this password let me see all right after this it will ask you to get connect what i'm going to do here don't ask me again for this and then i'm going to click on s so it will save the certificate so that it can automatically connect to this instance all right now you can see here very clearly that we are now being connected at our ec2 instance which is um, available at uh, amazon all right so it might take a little time to complete it let's go ahead and wait for some time to get its uh, installation complete all right now you see here our machine is up and it is running here on the ec2 instance this is a windows machine and it do not have any uh, audio devices as you can see there now what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna open here this uh, internet explorer 
all right perfect so i'm gonna open internet explorer and i'm gonna say that ask me later okay i don't want to get disturbed here and uh, then what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna do here anaconda i'm gonna actually install anaconda on my remote pc all right so there all right i'm gonna add it okay so let me close this then i have uh, okay so you need to click on this anaconda once you click on this anaconda you will get this one then you can click on this product and individual edition at this individual edition then you need to come here uh, let's go ahead go ahead okay scroll it here uh, let me show you yes now you have got here anaconda installer there i'm gonna use here a 64-bit graphical installer all right perfect uh, you need to click on this one it says that uh, i'm gonna add it here all right then again i'm gonna click it here then it will ask you to save it here and click on save and uh, okay so it is saying that it is downloading it might take a little time to complete its download all right so it's 89 and 90 percent almost downloaded perfect so this is all about in this lesson now you can see here it is almost downloaded here in the next lesson i'll show you how you can install anaconda on your ec2 instance at aws all right so see you in next lesson